Now to Lorain County, where a tip led police to a home where 10 juveniles were found hiding in a shed. The children ranged in ages from 12 to 17, and half claimed they ran away to a home on North Urban Circle. News Channel 5's Bob Jones joins us now from the Lorain Police Department, where the homeowner remains in jail tonight. Well, Danita, in a word, this investigation was bizarre. The question that Lorraine police officers had to ask themselves, what were a bunch of kids doing in a shed in the middle of the night with a convicted felon? Acting on a tip, Lorraine police responded to this home on North Urban Circle around 3 o'clock Tuesday morning to look for missing kids. The call turned odd in a hurry when officers focused on a backyard shed and the shirtless man who reeked of alcohol inside of it, 38-year-old Kenneth Freeman, and he wasn't alone. He saw the officers and went back to the shed and tried to close the door. This, of course, made our officers suspicious, and they looked inside and they found... Uh, approximately 10 uh, underage juveniles inside the shed. 10 kids, boys and girls between the ages of 12 and 17. It turned out missing persons reports have been filed on five of them, four from Lorraine and one from Amherst. Do you worry that there's something else going on here? Sure, I mean, you know, it's, it's, awful, it's awful suspicious, but, uh, you know, we don't have any evidence of anything else right now, but, uh, you know, certainly causes us some concern. Police say when they confronted Freeman, he tried to pull away. He was arrested for resisting arrest and obstructing official business. Everyone has the wrong idea. Tonight, Freeman's family is defending him. His two daughters were among the children inside the shed. I don't really think he should be in jail at all. I don't think he should because he did not know they were runaways until the cops came. Jordan Simmons is Freeman's niece and says he's just a guy with a big heart. In his mind, I truly believe he sees it as, sure, you guys can come over. He doesn't really process the fact that they're runaways. But to Lorraine police, it all seems very strange. Nobody's real cooperative and, and didn't uh, offer any information to the officers when they were there. So we still don't know why you know, they were all there other than just hiding. And tonight, police say that all of the kids appear to know each other and that some of them are habitual runaways. Several of them were charged with unruly and for curfew violations. As for Kenneth Freeman, he's in the Lorain County Jail on a $9,200 bond. And we learned today that he is a convicted felon. He has spent time, or is that, rather, he has been convicted for possession of cocaine and for receiving stolen property. Live at the Lorain Police Department along Erie Avenue tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. Thank you.